Well, I can't think of a better birthday present than to have my hilarious friend perform stand-up for us today. Please welcome back Tig Notaro. Oh, happy birthday, Ellen. Uh, my birthday's in March, so <laughs> be thinking about what you want to get me. Um, I'm not the most politically active person, but I've been trying to get better about that, especially recently. So what I've been doing is showing up to any given rally in my area and marching with a sign that just says, yeah, totally. <laughs> <sighs> Gotta ease in somehow. Um, my uh, wife and I have newborn twin boys. And, um, <laughs> thank you. Um, they, uh, it, 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 it's as exhausting as you hear about newborns, and there's two. I won't bore you with the details, but um, we are up at all hours. I guess I am gonna bore you with some details. Um, maybe three weeks into their lives, it was like four in the morning, and my wife and I were in bed, and she said, to, her eyes were rolling in the back of her head. She said to me, how do you have sex with a baby. And I said, you don't. And that was the beginning of a 10 minute long misunderstanding. What do you mean you don't have sex with a baby? What do you mean, what do you mean? What are we talking about? Who did I marry? Almost. <laughs> It takes a little while to kind of sink in what I just said, but I, um, <laughs> a couple of years ago, my wife and I uh, adopted a precious little kitten named Fluff. That's her uh, given name, and uh, we kept it out of respect for her birth parents. <laughs> and um, I realized the other day in the living room that I had never meowed at her. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna totally meow at Fluff. <laughs> And so I looked at her, and I says to her, I says, meow. <laughs> and she was like, no way. How is this just now coming up? <laughs> she was stunned, just with her little kitten stunned face. And she says back to me, she says, meow. <laughs> then I says to her, I says, meow. <laughs> We are going back and forth, having the time of our lives. <laughs> and then Stephanie leans out of the kitchen and says, I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> uh, what, what are you talking about? I wouldn't do that. You don't know what you're saying to her. <laughs> you could be saying something rude or inappropriate. <laughs> no, I feel confident we both just agreed that you're insane. I travel all around uh, doing stand-up, and um, I've noticed, I'm sure plenty of you have seen these signs, I've noticed these signs at um, public pools saying that you cannot go swimming if you have diarrhea. <laughs> and, um, and I I'm on board, 100%. <laughs> I just want, yeah, I want that to be clear. totally on their side. My question is, how frequently was this happening? <laughs> but more importantly, how confident of a person do you have to be to be like, oh man. <sighs> I am not feeling well. <sighs> Doctor said I should definitely stay home. Stick near the toilet. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna head down to the public pool. <laughs> Go swim around <laughs> with full blown diarrhea. <laughs> They're like, hey, out of the pool. Me? 
Yeah, you can't swim with diarrhea. <laughs> oh, so this is a problem? <laughs> yeah, I gotta get out of the pool. <laughs> Listen, if you don't want me swimming with diarrhea, <laughs> then you're gonna need to hang up a sign. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You're hilarious. I love you. You can uh, stream season one of uh, Tig's show. It's called One Mississippi. It's on Amazon Prime. We'll be right back.